This is the absolute best time to be out here. You notice something? That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm one of the few people that probably really enjoyed the lockdowns. Like, when the first uh, lockdowns went off, everybody fucking hid under the tables. Now, yeah, at the time, a lot of people, well, a lot of people still do think it was real. Uh, it just, you know, it shows how much fear is in humanity, but no one was going outside. Except me and, like, a few other legends in the fucking neighborhood. And, um, oh, man, it was so nice. It was so nice. <laughs> just moved around anywhere I wanted to. Went to whatever was still open. The cops were, were uh, stopping people, I guess, and asking where they were going. My story was... I'm going to get rubbing alcohol at uh, the drugstore. This is America, by the way. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys heard about this thing happened a couple of years ago. <laughs> Fucking crazy, isn't it? But anyway, um, this is this is the best time to be out here. Oh, there's a maniac line here all the time. There's a coffee place over here. I must fucking... They, I don't know if they put mess in the coffee or something, but the people like line up... For all morning they'll be there. But yeah, I was thinking about uh, how, how most people uh, have an Agent Smith in them. I don't. A lot of you don't. If you're watching this, you probably don't. But um, a lot of people do. And I recently was talking about how uh, the system of marginalization works. Where if someone you try to tell someone something, uh, which I don't any longer, but... Back in the beginning of, of this whole process for me, I was trying to share information with people. And it was, you know, disastrous, of course. But it would it would go in stages. At first, you're ridiculed. Then the anger comes. And then the complete uh, marginalization part where, oh, this guy's just crazy. We don't have to include him in the conversation of anything. But there's also a an Agent Smith character in people that will come out to defend the system in a very angry way if you challenge some of the more serious uh, tenets of the system. And I was thinking this morning about, I don't know how I got around to it, but I was just, the cost of living here is prohibitively expensive. <laughs> the day before yesterday, I bought an $8 bag of popcorn, sea salt popcorn. It's fucking crazy. Um, I thank God and I'm very blessed that I'm able to not just live here, but to, to survive and thrive. Uh, a lot of that has to do with a lot of that, you know, inner work going on too. But um, yeah, with since I've lived here, I picked up a smoking habit, which I, I had smoked on and off throughout the years. Not, not a lot, but I guess in the 1990s, I did for a while. And then when I was, uh, I think I was performing with the band uh, during a certain period I was smoking too. It was basically whenever I was involved in drugs, I would smoke. Um, they kind of go hand in hand, drinking and drugs and smoking. So when it, but when I moved here, I, I wasn't uh, a smoker. And um, getting to know people and walking around and just meeting people, everybody in, in my circle of friends I became friends with, everybody just smoked, it was just what happened. Now you don't see anyone out here, so you'll never see a person out on these main tourist roads I go to, Kalakaua, Okuhio, you'll never see anyone smoking, ever. I mean, I don't know the last time I saw someone smoking out there. And when they did, it, they had a very shameful look about them, and they were huddled by the barrel. I. I'm out and proud with the fucking smoking, and it drives people fucking insane. But I was just thinking of how, um, you know, smoking to me, the jury's still out on it. I, I'm suspicious of anything that the system presents to you as something you should not do because they say it's bad for you, it causes cancer, emphysema, COPD. But since when do they care about my health? In fact, uh, <laughs> You know, the opposite uh, it seemed, appears to be true, where they're trying to do everything they can to 
sicken you, if not uh, kill you uh, straight up. So that doesn't make sense to me. And there's some other people who have been studying it too and trying to figure these things out among the online schizo community. Uh, and uh, the, a lot of interesting information uh, has been on Earth um, with the smoking thing. For me, it, it, what got me into it was uh, looking at all the um, advertisements. Remember in the late 1990s, they did that truth thing. I did a video about it. Um, where they were just like really trying to hammer it into your head. Don't smoke. And at first, you know, when I first started understanding this stuff, I still thought money was a factor. You know, I said, well, it has to do with money. People want to make money. I, at the time, I didn't realize that money does not matter. But at the time, I was like, well, it must be a money thing, right? So uh, the people that own a lot of the other industries don't, for whatever reason, don't have a large ownership. Ownership? Ownership stake in the tobacco industry at least not on paper that anyone can find so a lot of the, the people online uh, and by a lot I mean like four or five on X were like well it's there you go they echo 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 don't own it so they want to they want to torpedo it no that doesn't it doesn't make sense to me uh, they get their orders they, echo, 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 get their orders from their boss. Uh, it works on a chain. Like, those guys, like, people get too hung up on them. Them, echo, echo, echo. I'm not going to do that anymore. They get too hung up on them. They're just bag men. They're just the bag men. They're like... I'm going to give them, like, they're the third... The, the end boss of the third level. And there's, like, ten levels. You know, they, they're just the ones who took the deal. You know, and Satan said, all right, I need some people to turn on their own so they can work as a go-between between me and them. Who can't resist reeling and dealing? I think he might have looked at the Italians for a minute and said, no, nah, they're, too, they're too religious. Uh, these guys will do. I mean, probably not what happened, but in my head can it did. But uh, with smoking... Uh, you know, I haven't really gone hard in the paint about it. Like, if you were to tell someone, right? Like, if you were to talk to someone, IRL, which I try to avoid. But if you were to, and you were to tell them these concerns, like, well, you know what? There is no correlation between this and cancer. There is no correlation. Because there isn't. You know, look it up. Uh, these pe people would turn into Agent Smith. Agent Smith would come out. Uh, where they don't go through the process, well, they may go through the process of making fun, then angry, then uh, exclusion from conversation, but it would be in an instant. They, they usually go right to anger, demonic anger. And there's a reason why it's demonic, because if you're an Agent Smith, you got an Agent Smith in you, who are you an agent for? It doesn't mean that the people are bad. They just, they got an Agent Smith in them. A lot of people do. I think some of us, uh, you know, deal with our, our own aspects of that too. I think I still have residue of, of these things. I'm not completely cleansed of it. Uh, you know, I've fallen into some uh, dark traps. But uh, yeah, it's, they would instantly, it was the same way with like a lot of hot button sort of topics like abortion, the same thing. Uh, politi a lot of politics will do that where the demon just comes right out you're a fucking uh, it's like disturbing you know I've seen friends and family go that way because they get that agent smith in them and the agent smith is an agent of the system that will uh, defend it till the end you know I mean for the most part most people are minor agents anyway like, they'll, they'll defend their own enslavement without even really understanding why. You know, and, and trying to break it down to them will just make you look like a, an insane person. How you doing, man? Good morning. Yeah, have a good one. The, the, um, yeah, it'll make you look insane. Always hide your power level. You know, it's not worth it. Take that shit online. There's people that you can talk to. But yeah, the Agent Smith factor is real. 
you got to make sure you avoid those kind of topics so you don't have to deal with one. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school.